So welcome to Quick Tips. Here's a request that's been made to me directly asking if I can do a quick video on how to do multiple accounts in Steam. So for example, if you have two accounts or more, or your wife and yourself, or your husband and yourself, or maybe you've got two kids and they have their own Steam accounts, and you want to be able to easily switch between them, well, you've got to remember the username and login, a password, and keep logging in and logging out. And it's a bit of a pain in the neck. But if you're like me and you've got, say, two accounts or more that you want to log into quickly, Here's how. You need to locate your Steam your Steam icon, all right? So on your desktop in Windows, you'll have a Steam shortcut. Now, if you're not really too sure about how to get your Steam shortcut, you would basically go to your Steam icon and create a shortcut. You've got your Steam icon. You've got your, uh, you've got your Steam, all right? Now, supposing you want to create more than one. Well, here's the trick, all right? First of all, take what you've got and hold, hold down the alt key and drag to create a new link all right so it's created another link as you can see the name so supposing this is mine steam dad and this will be let's let's call it steam daughter all right all right and both of these are different accounts so what you need to do is you go to one of them and you right click and you go to the bottom and move it up so you can see the menu <laughs> go to the bottom and click properties and in properties you'll see that there's this target which tells you the steam uh, exe that's why this is a shortcut this is a link and what you need to do is after the quote add in hyphen login the username and the password with a space between them exactly like this login user password all right don't type user one and password zero one this is just for demo all right, you put in your username here, <clears throat> leave a space, and then your password after it. Now, some people will say this is not secure because it's visible, but if it's on your desktop and you want ease of use, then there's nothing wrong with doing this. All right, just remember not to do it in an internet cafe or a machine that is shared with other people. Plus, if you're streaming like I am, you don't want to put your real username and password in because people can see it. So you do that and then save that, say OK. Do the same with uh, with your other one, the daughter one. All right, so I'll go to the daughter one, properties, uh, create user, whatever the username is, whatever it is, daughter. And supposing she's got a dumb password, like like one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? Something stupid, all right? And that's it, that's it, done. Hyphen, minus login, space, daughter, space, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? Just type that in, save that. And now when I want to log in, all I have to do is double click on whichever account I need to log into. But there's a little trick in this, all right? I'll click this one. And as you can probably see, um, I it's not a real account. So of course it's come up with this and it doesn't recognize the account. But if the password and username is correct, it'll go straight in. Now, here's the thing, once you've gone into one, if you double click the other one it won't log you in because it will still have you logged into the previous one so what you have to make sure you do here I'll uh, log into one of my I'll bring this up so once you're logged in uh, you're running on your current steam and uh, as you can see mine's running here you need to log out before you click on the other one it won't automatically log out so what you need to do is first log out and then you'll get a pop-up. Wait for the pop-up. All right, took a little bit of time. Wait for this pop-up and then exit that pop-up. Now that you've exited the pop-up, you can now click on the second one and um, it will load up. And so that's it, done. Remember, log out before you log in. So that's for today's tips on Steam. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember to subscribe and click like. It helps us all out. And I'll make more of these quick tutorials. Cheerio. Hey, a quick reminder. Click the like button. I know you want to. And if you know what's good for you, subscribe. It's the button below. See you next time.